thank you for selecting the Glucocard Vital Blood Glucose Monitoring System. Frequent blood glucose testing is important. It tells you how your diabetes is affected by factors such as medication, diet, exercise, and stress management. Blood glucose test results can also tell you if your diabetes is changing in ways that affect your treatment plan. Always consult a healthcare professional before making any changes. The Glucocard Vital Blood Glucose Monitoring System is for self-testing. It provides a fast, easy, and accurate method of determining blood glucose values. This training video will provide basic instructions on how to use the Glucocard Vital Blood Glucose Monitoring System. Please read the Glucocard Vital User Instruction Manual for complete instructions before using this system. For additional assistance after reviewing these materials, please call ArcRay Customer Service at 1-800-566-8558. Your Glucocard Vital System includes a meter with one 3-volt lithium battery already installed, 10 Glucocard Vital test strips, a sure dose control solution, a lancing device, 10 lancets, a carrying case, a logbook, and a user instruction manual. Now let's take a moment to become familiar with the Glucocard Vital System. Key points of the meter include display screen, on-off button, back button, forward button, test strip port. On the back of the meter you will find battery compartment, serial number, and customer service number. Before using the Glucocard Vital System for the first time, you should set the time and date to ensure that results are appropriately marked in memory. To enter the setup mode, press the on-off button to turn the meter on. When the insert test strip symbol appears, press and hold down the on-off button for longer than two seconds to enter the setup mode. The time format will appear on the screen. To change the time format, select either the 12 or 24 hour format by pressing the back or forward button. Press the on off button to make your selection. The date format then appears on the display. Select either the month day or day month date format by pressing the back or forward button. Press the on off button to make your selection. The hour setting then flashes on the display. Next, you will need to set the correct time and date. Press and release the back or forward buttons to change the hour. When the correct hour is displayed, press the on-off button to make your selection. The minute setting then flashes on the display. Press and release the back or forward buttons to change the minutes. When the correct minute is displayed, press the on-off button to make your selection. The month setting then flashes on the display. Press and release the back or forward buttons to change the month. When the correct month is displayed, press the on-off button to make your selection. The day setting then flashes on the display. Press and release the back or forward buttons to change the day. When the correct day is displayed, press the on-off button to make your selection. The year setting then flashes on the display. Press and release the back or forward buttons to change the year. When the correct year is displayed, press the on-off button to make your selection. Then, press the on-off button for two seconds to save the settings and exit the setup mode. Although your Glucocard Vital Meter comes with one 3-volt lithium battery already installed, you will need to change it from time to time. To do this, make sure the meter is turned off. Remove the battery cover by pulling the cover tab up with your finger or fingernail. Remove the old battery and dispose. Insert a new 3-volt lithium battery with the writing facing up. 
and replace the battery cover. To perform a control solution test, you will need your glucocard vital meter, test strips, and control solution. It is recommended that you perform a control solution test when you use the meter for the first time, when you open a new bottle of test strips, when test results are not consistent with how you feel, when you suspect the meter and test strips are not working properly, or if you drop the meter. Begin by inserting a test strip into the meter. To enter control solution mode, press the back or forward button until the control solution bottle symbol appears in the upper right corner of the screen. If the meter is not set in control solution mode, control test results will not be valid and the test will not be marked as a control test in the system. Begin by gently inverting the control solution bottle several times to mix. Remove the cap and place on a flat surface. Squeeze the bottle and discard the first drop of solution. Apply the second drop to the top of the cap. Bring the meter and test strip to the drop of control solution. Using capillary action, the test strip will draw up the solution. Results will be displayed in 7 seconds. Compare the result on the display with the range printed on the test strip bottle. Make sure that you check the correct range for the level of control solution you are using. If results are outside of the range, check the troubleshooting guide in the user manual. Remove the test strip and dispose. To perform a blood glucose test, you will need your glucocard vital meter, glucocard vital test strips, lancing device, and lancets. Since the glucocard vital system requires a very small blood drop to perform a test, we will use the fingertip. Because there are differences in how you perform fingertip and palm testing, speak to your healthcare provider and refer to the detailed instructions in the glucocard vital user manual before performing palm testing. Your first step before testing your blood is to wash your hands with soap and warm water, rinse, and dry thoroughly. Next, you need to prepare your lancing device. Pull the clear cap to remove it. You may also choose to remove the special band from the removable cap. Insert a new sterile lancet firmly into the lancet holder. Twist the lancet protective cover off. Replace the end cap. The comfort tip of the lancing device offers seven different levels. To select the desired depth of skin penetration, align the indicator with the desired lancing depth. The first or second line for soft or thin skin. The third, fourth, or fifth line for average skin. The sixth or seventh line for thick or calloused skin. Please note, there is no numeric inscription on the multi-lancet device. Next, Cock the lancing device. Hold the end cap of the lancing device in one hand. Pull back on the set and disposal lever until you hear a click. Now you are ready to perform a blood glucose test. When opening a new bottle of test strips, always record the date the bottle was opened on the bottle label. Remove a glucocard vital test strip from the bottle. Immediately close the cover. Be sure to check the expiration date of the strips and the date the bottle of test strips was first opened. Test strips are good for 90 days after first opening. Next, insert a glucocard vital test strip into the meter with the contact bars first and the reaction site facing up. The meter will automatically turn on. Next, obtain a blood sample. To get the fingertip blood sample, let your arm hang below the heart and massage the wrist, palm or finger for 10 to 15 seconds. Next, place the lancing device against the side of the fingertip. Then press the lancing button. Bring the meter and test strip to your finger. Apply the blood sample to the reaction site on the end of the glucocard vital test strip. Capillary action will draw the blood into the strip. 
the meter will begin counting down when it detects that the blood has been applied. The blood glucose results will appear in 7 seconds. The test result will be stored automatically in the meter's memory with the time and date. Record the test result in your logbook. Remove the test strip and dispose. The meter will automatically shut off. To dispose of the lancet, place the lancet protective cap on a hard surface. Remove the cap from the lancing device and push the lancet in the protective cap. Press the set and disposal lever forward and eject the used lancet into an appropriate disposal container. Your GlucoCard Vital Meter automatically stores up to 250 test results in memory along with the time and date. The meter does not use results marked with a control solution bottle when it calculates the 14 and 30 day average. Results you do not want to include in your 14 and 30 day average can be marked with an exclamation mark. To mark a result with an exclamation mark, press the back or forward button immediately after the meter displays the test result and before you remove the test strip and before the meter automatically turns off. To recall results from memory, simply press the on-off button to turn on the meter. Then press the back or forward button to enter memory mode. MEM -E is displayed. Press the back or forward button to display the average of tests over the last 14 days. Press the back or forward button again to display the 30-day average. Press the back or forward button to recall additional results stored in memory. To perform an alternate site test, you must first choose your test site. Select a soft, fleshy area on the palm. After washing your hands, massage the area to increase blood flow. Rub the selected area for 5 to 10 seconds until the area starts to feel warm to the touch. Insert a test strip into the meter. Wait until the flashing blood drop appears. Firmly hold the cocked lancing device to the skin for 5 to 10 seconds. Press the release button on the lancing device to lance the skin. Continue to hold the lancing device firmly against the skin until a drop of blood forms. Once a large enough drop of blood has formed, remove the lancing device. Pick up the meter and touch the end of the strip to the blood sample until the reaction site is full. Remove the meter and test strip from the blood drop. If the blood sample is not free of clear or watery fluid, or the drop was not large enough to fill the reaction site all at once, you must repeat the test. The meter will count down and display results in 7 seconds. Consider your results and repeat the test if the blood sample was not large enough to fill the reaction site, if the test was accidentally marked as control result, if your result was not consistent with how you feel. If the repeated result is still not consistent with how you feel, confirm your blood glucose level with fingertip testing. Remove the test strip and the meter will automatically shut off. The GlucoCard Vital Blood Glucose Monitoring System is easy, accurate, and intuitive. To get the most out of the GlucoCard Vital System, please review all of the information in the user instruction manual. Thank you for choosing the GlucoCard Vital Blood Glucose Monitoring System. For additional information or questions on how to use this system, please contact ArcRay Customer Service 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-566-8558.